Hi, my name is Tom Perdue. I'm the product development manager here at Cambridge Engineered Solutions. We're the largest producer of metal conveyor belts for food processing and industrial applications. Today, I want to take a few minutes to introduce you to some of the design features and benefits of CAMEDS, our newest belt for spiral conveyor systems. So today, I want to talk about four key points as it relates to our CAMEDS belt and system. We'll talk about the similarities between CAMEDS and traditional spiral conveyor systems. More importantly, I want to talk about the differences between CAMEDS and traditional spiral conveyor systems. I want to cover some of the features and benefits of CAMEDS, particularly as it relates to plant operations and especially for food processing. And finally, I want to show two styles of our CAMEDS belt. So I'm here today from our Innovation Center. Uh, this is a CAMEDS spiral behind me. Uh, it's a very small system. It actually utilizes about 100, 100 feet of belt. A more typical system uh, in, a, in a real application might have 1,000 feet or even 2,000 feet or more. And, and lastly, the features and benefits of our system can be used to uh, help optimize the manufacturing footprint. How, how does that work? Well, basically the unit, again, because it, it lacks a, a rotating drum in the center, there's a large open area within that system that can be utilized. We've seen customers ut utilize this uh, to actually construct a unit around a fixed building column, okay? Utilize an area of the plant that, that couldn't or ordinarily be utilized otherwise. Related to that, along the same lines, uh, that same open area can be used to, uh, to position and, and, and locate equipment. Air, hun air handling equipment or other types of equipment used for that system uh, that, that, that could be important. So what are the similarities between a CAMEDS belt system and a traditional spiral system? Well, they both are, are intended to incorporate a large amount of belt in a relatively small footprint. That's characteristic of, of, of all spirals. Uh, secondly, they both have a similar infeed and, and discharge section. Okay, this is an upgo unit. We, we, we come in low, we exit high. Yeah. Uh, both have a, have a, would have a type of return. Okay, we've got to get from the discharge section back to the infeed. That's accomplished through a, uh, a return of some type. And, and finally, there are within both systems there are similar types of belt depending on, on the product support needs. The first, first of all, when we talk about Cam Edge. This is what generally what we're referring to. Okay, this was the original product that we developed for this. Uh, again, it has the, uh, the, the components and, and has a, it's like a flat wire type of, um, of, of mesh overlay. Okay? This is a, uh, a basically geared toward a, a, pa a package product type application. The openings here that are shown are, are, are fully adjustable and we can, we can make belts to pretty much any, any spec desired for that. But again, this, this being cam edge. Our, our latest product development, so this, our newest product, is what we call cam edge more. And if you can see, this is a uh, belt that has a very similar uh, edge construction, in fact, it utilizes the same components, but instead of the, uh, the, the flat wire, the very open uh, mesh within the center, we, we, we're ins inserting a, a mesh overlay, okay? And basically the, the purpose of this is to be able to accommodate the loose or raw products directly on the belt for some type of, uh, of uh, freezing or, or cooling or some type of application similar to that. And basically with, with the tightness of the, uh, of the mesh, there's a reduced chance for product marking. It's much, uh, much more friendly to, to the product and, and at times much more needed depending on the size of the product. The, uh, so both the cam edge and cam edge more are full stainless steel construction. So what, is it, what, is that, what does that give you? Basically it gives you good cleanability, okay? It's very, very important obviously for food, food processing uh, operations. The, the stainless steel can withstand harsh chemicals without, without uh, uh, material degradation. And finally the, uh, the, the belt from, that, from those materials can withstand ex extreme temperatures from the very low temperatures of freezing to, to the higher temperatures of, of, uh, of, of exposure due to, due to cooking or, or steaming. So I hope you found this video useful. Uh, to learn more about CAMEDS and how it can be beneficial to your food processing facility, contact our team here at Cambridge. And please let us know if you have any questions by including them in the comments section below or by calling or visiting us online. And thanks for watching.